let's see here. Sexual get-together. Representative Cawthorn says he was invited to a D.C. political orgy and has witnessed lawmakers doing cocaine. I think I'd like to try me some of that cocaine. Representative Madison Cawthorn says that in the 14 months he's been in Washington, D.C., he's been invited to D.C. orgies and has witnessed lawmakers using cocaine. According to Just the News, citing the freshman lawmaker's recent appearance on the Warrior Poet podcast. Quote, I look at all these people, a lot of them I've looked up to through my life. I've always paid attention to politics. Then all of a sudden, you get invited to, quote, well, hey, we're going to have a kind of sexual get-together at one of our homes. You should come, end quote, said Cawthorn. (laughs) I'm like, what did you just ask me to come to? He continued, then you realize that they're asking you to come to an orgy. Here's a, uh, a clip. It's been, it's been um, time-stamped. Being kind of a young guy in Washington, with the average age of probably 60 or 70, and I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes. You should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Um, so that's huge. Uh, Pretty interesting, right? Now, I've seen people say, hey, say names or don't say anything. It's like, say names. You want to, you go say names. You want to get yourself killed? I mean, at least he's bringing attention to it. That's incredible right there. That is just incredible. And then, of course, here we have this afterwards. McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy, the House Minority Leader, pledged to speak with Madison Cawthorn about his allegation that people in Washington, D.C. have invited him to orgies and done cocaine in front of him after Republican members expressed frustration with the comments. Yes, these, these are, this is our culture. Don't let anybody know how we live our lives. It's incredible. Representative Steve Womack of Arkansas stood up in a House Republican conference meeting on Tuesday to address the comment, according to a source in the room. Other members also expressed that they were upset at Cawthorn's allegations. (laughs) So sue him. Is it slander? Is it not true? Go ahead, sue him. Oh, you're not going to? In response, McCarthy said that he would speak to Cawthorn about the racy remarks. Politico first reported the exchange. Cawthorn's office did not immediately respond to a request for comment. He was not in attendance at the conference meeting. The 26-year-old first-term congressman made waves after he appeared on the Warrior Poet podcast last week and was asked whether the Netflix television drama House of Cards was closer to a documentary. Quote, I look at all these people, a lot of them, and I've looked up to through my entire lives. Then all of a sudden you get invited to, hey, well, we're having some kind of a sexual get-together. He added that he has seen people who advocate for fighting against addiction do cocaine in front of them. How many times have we said on this show, which is not, of course, an original thought, but Congress should go through routine, routine drug tests? 100%. Routine drug tests. It's not just the abusing of pharmaceuticals. I think that they are on top grade street shit. 100%. I would be I wouldn't be surprised that we have a couple of straight up crackheads in in Congress um everything 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 every time Hank Johnson speaks it, it sounds like he's been on massive amounts of quaaludes so there's that Let's see here. The orgy comment is the second instance in recent weeks in which House Republicans have rebuked the statement by Cawthorn. Good. Keep doing it. Keep doing it, man. Telling you. To hell with those slugs. In a video unearthed by local North Carolina video news outlet WRAL, earlier this month, Cawthorn is seen uh, calling Ukrainian President Zelensky a thug. Remember that Zelensky is a thug, Cawthorn said. Remember that the Ukrainian government is incredibly corrupt and incredibly evil and has been pushing woke ideologies. Absolutely. Absolutely. In an objective sense, in a very com- in a completely uncontroversial sense, as of three or four months ago, when it wasn't so um, polarizing to have an opinion like that, Ukraine was in like the top four, top five 
estimated most corrupt countries in the world. And it's mainly because it's not the government doesn't belong to the people out there. It's in the hands of the same people who have claimed our government for themselves. We don't have control of ours as well. I mean, it's just the way it is. So that's great. McCarthy addressed the thug comment in a, in a press conference. Madison is wrong. If there's any thug in this world, it's Putin, he said. Oh, you, you pansy, Kevin McCarthy. You pansy. And that's why I say when I talk to people like Rich Barris, when me and Rich talk on nights like we did last night, we understand each other. I know that Rich, Rich doesn't have, is not very comfortable uh, sounding like he's actually rooting for Republicans because this is the Republican Party. That's the that's the Republican Party, you know. Um, so, I feel skeevy having some of those conversations because I know what it can sound like. But I really do. I don't. I don't like these people at all, and I don't know why anybody does. Well, it, they're better than the the the. Uh, no, they're really not. They're completely complicit. They're completely complicit. You understand what he's saying? He's getting invited to cocaine fueled orgies. Okay, so there you have it. 